Good morning, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop uh, after a fair break away uh, from making uh, videos or not necessarily making videos but posting them um, they have a bit of a cold so it's been a bit of a drag so what we've got here is um, we've made 16 of these um, uh, rings they are, they are uh, for setting <coughs> special pump uh, adjustment um, rings and uh, they they're made uh, of a steel of a steel ring let me go here a steel ring that <coughs> will be cut in half we call them these will be half will become half shells they have two holes drilled in them to hold them together as a pair and then they have to be uh, marked as, uh, marked up as pairs now when we come to the detail um, this is a side view and you can see uh, it has a little bit of an edge on this end here and there's these two measurements that are in uh, yellow highlighted they are the measurements that change between the number one through to number 16 <coughs> each one progressively gets uh, this 2.5 becomes greater and of course that 6 mil becomes less they're all 8 millimeters wide um, as per the marking down below here, eight and a half mil, I should say. There you can see that detail much better. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be machining this section here uh, progressively one after another. Um, and I've made up a list of all of these uh, parts and I've numbered them one to 16. And that's the part number or the drawing number that's been supplied in the revision. and and these are the degrees of setting for the pump. I don't know what that means, but that, that the client knows. Um, and then I've made a, a, uh, a measurement and B measurement, how they change throughout to number 16, which um, is basically, I've made them all 16, all the same as number 16. And I'm now gonna be machining one at a time and machining more and more and more off until we reach the number one um, and here we have the, the box that we've made up and it's got the 16 rings in it and each one numbered here um, and uh, I'm now going to progressively machine these um, each one of these rings um, machine them as I said I'll be machining off this face here now in order to do so what I've, what I've done um, is I've made a spigot in the lathe and what we'll be doing <clears throat> what we'll be doing is we'll be fitting I've made this a neat fit quite a neat fit in fact to um, uh, fit on that what I'll do oh bugger um, number, sorry about that, um, what I've done with these is I've marked them also inside the, the, the numbering and everything else. So this one here I've, I've, I've taken that projections off so this one will fit on neatly, um, fits on there ne on, neatly onto the spigot and then I've got a nut and washer and a and a bit of a screw here and all that screw is to do is just um, just to hold that in retention so this now this now gives me let's get that in so what I'll be able to do here is um, I'll be setting this up to zero. We'll just see if I put a bit of light on here, it makes a difference. Um, I'll be setting this up to zero um, against that face and um, at the, thick, the thickest measurement and then I'll be, I'll be progressively machining uh, this edge through um, down, to, down to the ledge, down there to the ledge <coughs> to produce those uh, 16 different thicknesses of of this point here which is the critical thickness and after that 
I'll then have to drill two holes in um, on one side and slot through that to um, uh, slot the uh, those rings in half and they become half shells. So there'll be 16 sets or one set of 16 pairs of half shells. Uh, we'll be back.